Anyone remember Ray William Johnson? Anyone? For those of you who need a refresher, about a half a decade ago, the biggest show on all of YouTube was called Equals 3, run by a guy named Ray. How big was it? Well, think of it as the Paul Brothers of 2011. Looking back now, it may seem a little odd, but yes, the biggest show on the internet at the time was about a guy that found random clips and gave his comedic take on them. Since then, his popularity has declined, like, a whole lot. At his height, he was getting 5 million views a video. Now he's at around 50,000. This has led many to ask the question, what happened? To understand the downfall of Ray William Johnson, we'll first have to take a look at his history of online stardom. He started back in 2009 when he decided to make a video reviewing some clips he found on YouTube. These early videos were very rough around the edges and not the best for 2017 standards, but it was fast paced and had a unique style so people start to watch. Then more people start to watch. Then even more. I want to point out that back in the day, YouTube used to have a feature where they showed the most viewed videos of the day on the front page, and about the top 50 content creators had a monopoly on the space. But I distinctly remember when Ray became popular, every single one of his videos made it to the number one spot there. He really was the king of the internet. This success was unprecedented at the time. He was just a college student making videos in his dorm in New York City. He was in an Ivy League school and he planned on being a lawyer, then all of a sudden, he just had all this fame and fortune dropped on him. So he moved to California and expanded his business, and for many years his videos continued to get millions of views. But then in 2014, he decided to step down as the host of Equals 3. Because the fans still wanted to see Equals 3, he found a new host named Robbie to take over the show, and most people were pretty happy with the change. While well, the show saw a bit of a slide in viewership, each episode still received over a million views. But then, Robbie decided to leave, and this is where things really started to go downhill. When the next new host arrived, the fans were immediately not happy with the changeup. They didn't like her comedic style or joke delivery, and the comments and like-to-dislike ratio made this very clear. This was the final nail in the coffin for the once biggest show on YouTube. Now his videos get 1% of the views they used to. But this is not the end of what happened to Ray. In fact, I have much more to say, but from here on out, I'd like to get a little bit more opinionated. So now I'd like to talk about the five failures in Ray William Johnson's career. And before I get the usual comments saying that I'm not popular and I shouldn't be talking, I just want to make you realize that A, I never said I was popular, and B, I used to be a subscriber of Equals 3 myself, so I take no joy in his downfall. I'm just a guy that's been making videos for 8 years and I find this stuff fascinating. So let's begin. Number 1. Expanding his operation Ray was doing well just making videos out of his apartment. But because he became successful, it seems that he felt the need to expand his operation by getting an expensive studio in California, hiring a full crew of people to help him produce the show, and get talent to start other series for the internet that I doubt ever turned a profit. While yes, there's no doubt he was making really good money back in the day, he probably could have kept a lot more of it if he kept costs down by working out of his home and maybe hiring just a person or two to help him write and edit the show. 2. Joining a YouTube network At the time, it probably seemed like a good idea for him to join Maker Studios, and I'm sure they promised him the world. But as usual, the YouTube network tried to squeeze as much money out of him as possible. Moral of the story, don't join a network. Number 3. Trying to get into traditional media Whenever a YouTuber gets big, they always seem to want to branch out into TV or movies, even though it never works. I remember hearing how Ray was working on some new TV show idea or was in talks with producers, but those projects never panned out. If you look at his IMDB page, he doesn't have much to show for all the hard work trying to get bigger projects off the ground. Number 4. He didn't win his court case Now this one isn't actually his fault, but when he was sued for using copyright content, it didn't go his way and he had to settle. This I'm sure hurt the profitability of Equals 3 as its viewership was already dwindling. Number 5. He abandoned his show When Ray left Equals 3, he said he wanted to focus on new things, so he just got up and quit one of the biggest shows on YouTube. And honestly, I think there was a better way. Instead of just quitting altogether, he could have made the show once a week instead of twice and had his team write up all the content beforehand so he could just show up and do a few episodes in a day. Basically, just minimize the amount of time out of your schedule it would take to make the show. 
By leaving abruptly, not only did Equals 3 popularity decline, but so did everything else around him. His other YouTube shows were getting less views, he stopped getting as much media attention, and people winded up forgetting about him. Going to his channel now, you can see how he hides his multi-million subscriber total since it doesn't look good next to the only 50,000 people that have stuck around to watch his most recent vlogs, where he shows how he's now a traveling comedian. In these new videos, it shows him performing small venues with some friends, and he does seem happy. But it's still strange to think that this guy was once the biggest person on the entire internet. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. It's really appreciated. As for the question of the day, somebody wants to know my thoughts on these new yellow dollar signs that show up next to YouTuber accounts. So basically what happened is now they'll notify you when YouTube unmonetizes the video mostly. So a few ads may play, but most of them are gone and you're going to make very little money off that video monetization wise. And everybody's freaking out about this right now, but I don't think they realize that all these videos were unmonetized months ago. But now at least YouTube is telling you about it and you could counterclaim it and try to get that uh, title of being a yellow dollar sign removed and make it nice and green again so you could make cash off the video. So uh, yeah, people are freaking out about it even though they should have been freaking out months ago like I was. Also, a new Internet Mysteries is on the way. I know a lot of people were complaining about me making all these what happened to videos, but I'm still doing Internet Mysteries. The new one is almost finished. The script is done for it. It's been done for a while, actually. So uh, expect that later on this week. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.